this season of Power Slap, Road to the Title. Strikers from around the country. Put it all on the line to make history. As pioneers in a new era in combat sports. A select group of skilled fighters battled it out head to head for a chance to compete in a hard hitting test of grit. I ain't that right! And power. Oh my God. 22 warriors living together under the same roof. You looking at me? Training to become the best of the best. Competing for a world ranking and a shot at the inaugural Power Slap belt. Look at this belt. Let's go, baby. Now, after 25 pulse pounding fights. That's crazy. The most dramatic strikes and high intensity drama. Sit the down. Are in one power packed hour. All the best moments from the competition. Yeah! A gauntlet Three. that separated the weak from the mighty. As we count down to the first ever Power Slap Live finale. So a few years ago, I started watching some videos on social media and online of guys slapping. They were pulling like 350 million views. We knew we needed to turn this thing into a real sport. What I'm looking for are the best slap fighters in the world. Back in March, we held an exhibition and we found a lot of talent from there to come in and join Power Slap. Once they're in this competition, these fighters are gonna be looking to make a name for themselves. They will be competing for not only a ranking in one of our four weight classes, but for a spot in our first ever live event. And ultimately, to be the first ever Power Slap World Champion in their division. For the coaches, we brought in the two best guys in the world. Darius the Destroyer is a heavyweight champion from Missouri, and this dude has never lost a fight. The Wolverine's name is Ron, and he's a former MMA fighter turned slap fighter. Oh. He's only 31 years old, and he's got a record of 11 and 3, and his only losses have been to the Destroyer. Oh. Their most recent fight was an epic 27-rounder that was eventually called in favor of Darius, and it's considered by most people the greatest slap fight ever in history. Darius the Destroyer, the champion. So they're going to train these young up-and-coming fighters and then Darius and Ron are gonna fight live for the first ever heavyweight slap championship. Let me show you guys the belt that you two will be fighting for. Oh, that looks great. That's great. That's it, boys. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I love the case. When I first saw that power slap belt, I was just in awe. It was all full of just amazing gems and these amazing shiny metals. I knew I have to take that, and I will. The belt, it looked really nice. I think it uh, looked great on my wall with my other ones. Blue, right, three. First one, measure. That's your measure. That's one. One. Two. two. Done. That's the you get! Got some character to him. He's got unbelievable power. He's got great energy. Ooh, I like that. Good one. Let's go! That dude just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> We're going by Jesus Freak Slap. Woo! This guy looks certified out of his mind. He goes by Slap Jesus. Oh, yeah, buddy. 
stumbled him. On me, the hand of God. Ah! Oh. Yeah, All right. definitely got personality. Ready? Right on one. Go ahead. Oh, oh dang. I'd like to see both of them guys at least go at it again with somebody. Yeah. It's over. It's over. Do not get up. It's over. That looked clean, too. I didn't see yeah, any. Yeah, no foot. Yeah, yeah that better. looked clean. Two. Got a chin. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a chin. chin. Three. Vicious. Yeah. Vicious. Ooh. He's got power, man. <laughs> Wes, I mean, the kid's impressive. Weak. Holy Knocked the cotton out of his ear. I like him. I think he's got potential. Yeah. Weak. Ooh. That was good. One. Two. Wow. He's a f***ing beast. That guy's an animal. I'm even more pumped about this sport than I was before. We invited a few guys so far to go straight into the Power Slap House. And it's just the beginning. We still need to fill the rest of the spots. So we invited a few guys back, and we're going to give them another shot to prove themselves. We also scoured the country for more slap fighting talent and invited them all to Vegas as well. They don't get an automatic spot. They're going to have to slap their way into the house. Win your elimination fight, and you're in. Lose, and you're heading home. It's as simple as that. Two. Nothing. That was a good fight. Holy How crazy is that? How crazy is that? What a comeback. Blue Fighter won the coin toss, has elected to receive. He's out. Holy He's out. He's out. Let that be a lesson to you. If you win the coin toss, you should probably take the first lap. Damn. Mitchell hits like a truck. Damn, that was <laughs> His shoe came off. He got slapped so hard his shoe came off. Damn, damn, damn. He slapped the cotton out of both his ears. Both these dudes are tough. Not a clean fight at all. So <laughs> crazy that. Knockout. Nikolai. By the end of the slap off elimination day, we had nine more contestants that had earned spots in the house. To go along with the seven that we chose from the March exhibition. Since my goal is to build these divisions and find the best talent out there. I also chose six alternates to join the competition. My first pick, Mitchell Sight. My first pick is going to be Ryan Phillips. Woo! From those 22 fighters, Darius and Wolverine picked their teams. Then once we got that done, we were on our way. Let's go this way. Hey. After the fighters moved into the slap house. This is a nice house, though. We're here to do some strength tests. They were put through our version of a combine <laughs> where they underwent tons of physical tests. Coming up, boom. Trying to keep your feet still. 
What we're hoping to do is figure out what attributes makes a great striker so that we can develop a training program to help build the sport. The best always rise to the top. So here we go into the finale with the absolute best guys in the world fighting for world titles. If you're looking for guys who have that wow factor when it comes to power slap, look no further than Chris Thomas. Here's second clock, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. That's one. One, two. <laughs> Done. What the f you get? One more. Muscle don't wait. When we saw what he did to Chris Kennedy in the exhibition fights, we absolutely knew he was a superstar in the making. Winner by knockout, Christopher Thomas! KO Chris, baby! I love everything about that kid. I, I think that kid should go into the house. What do you two think? Yeah, Just yeah. Sure. 100%. Yeah, he's There's in. no question. For sure. We ranked him number one in the division, and from that point on, he never looked back. First opponent in the house was Waylon Frost, and that kid never stood a chance. One hand on two. One. Oh, oh my God. Damn. Damn. Good hit. Yeah. Good hit. by knockout. Moving on. Let's go. Let's eat. Chris's entire life has been about overcoming adversity. He is a fighter through and through. He came here to make a better life for his family, and he proved that he is capable of achieving anything. I'm here for one reason, it's my boys who kept me around, that's it, but I can't stand my own self, dude. Like, I smile and laugh, dude, but I'm depressed as all the time, dude. I got a little bit of anxiety going on, I'm thinking about my family a lot tonight. I got five sons and, uh, you know, without them, I just feel empty. I miss the out of them. I don't like talking about them or even mentioning them because I miss them. I've been out of trouble for all seven, but I've been clean for like, like a year and two months, clean, clean. So, but so we kind of the same. I ain't been in no trouble in years and years and years and years and years and years, years, years. And this is directly accredited to my kids. I've been trying to just journal, dude, like write my kids a letter. I'm gonna start, I started that today, so I'm gonna try to continue it tomorrow. It's just not writing a letter, just write about, like my biggest thing was today is I was just thinking about like all the done and wrong. Bro. This is my baby's book. He was born, but like it's not like he slept with it. But it's just like they gave this to us. Like he's three months old right now, but dude, he is the cutest one we've had. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and he's the chillest, man. He doesn't cry one bit. That's fine, dog. Uh -huh. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, thank you. In the final fight of the competition, Chris was set up to face Slap Jesus. Number one versus number two. And in the days leading up to it, Slap Jesus started trying to play the mental warfare game and getting into Chris's head. I'm gonna expose KO Chris, okay? No, you're not. Yes, I am, Chris. And if you got something to say about it, I you don't got you got to knock in here. You can't up, bro. I'll eat you alive. Yeah, we'll see. I will. We'll see. Gorilla. We'll see, boy. Uh, we'll see. Go to bed, bro. Mm. Go to bed, bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. make you my bitch. I'm gonna make yeah. you my bitch, boy. Run your mouth. You will run my mouth. Run your mouth. You Shut it. Get off me. You bitch. came to me, baby. No, you, you came to me. me. You came to me. So don't you touch came me. to me. Don't you touched touch me, me first. No, oh, I hate that right now. We can go any time. That's why you play up on me because you want to PC up now. What you want to PC up? Slap. Yeah, I'll beat the out of you. I ain't gonna beat 
Hey! You ain't gonna be up. Hey! Bitch! Hey! 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 The question was, did Slap Jesus get into Chris's head, and will it affect the competition? First round, Blue is going right hand. Fair blow, down! Mike, Slap Jesus Smith, dude, you ran your mouth over and over and over to me, dude. This is what you get. Ten. Who show is it? Who? Who? Yeah, number one welterweight in the world, baby. By KO, that's how I do it. Oh, I'm pumped. Winner by knockout, blue corner, Christopher. Anybody else want to run the mouth? Come see me. Come see me. There's absolutely no stopping this guy. He is, without a doubt, the fighter to beat in the welterweight division. Taking on Chris Thomas in the final welterweight fight will be Jesus Gaspar. Jesus came into the competition a relative unknown, but he improved over the weeks more than any other fighter in the house, and it paid off for him in the end. Protein, man, you gotta bulk up. You're too little. It's my metabolism. Yeah, but you got a good physique, though, you know? Yeah, I worked on it for two years. I live in a pretty rough neighborhood, I'm not gonna lie. I live in the neighborhood of Montclair, but like close borderline to Pomona. Future champ. Yeah, right Grandma's here. from Pomona, man. Future rock star. This is like future champ, power slap. I've been living there for 12 years. Right here. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I learned how to keep my head down, not, not act like the tough guy, because there's some real tough guys that don't care if they stab you. Main yeah. part of my life, main person in my life is my mom. This is my mom. I like like not getting her mad, but whatever she says, I say the complete opposite. Hey, no mountain! No mountain! And we have those arguments, like the fun arguments, though. No, it's a no! No! Our relationship is tough. My dad's not in the picture. My sisters aren't in the picture. The only person I got is my mom. We live in this little apartment. It's not that big, it's, uh, it goes upstairs. We have two rooms upstairs. But I want her to mention her because she comes from a rough life. <laughs> I just want, I want the best for her. I just want to protect her. It's a little wild. Uh, we were really not that, uh, I want to say, we're rich in heart. We can set my mom up for something good. We're so close, me and my mom. Jesus was invited to the slap-off elimination fights where he faced off against Aziel Rodriguez. Yeah! Foul. Foul? Foul. 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 Stepping. Foul. Stepping. It seemed like it was just foul after foul after foul. Clubbing. And stepping. The step was on the follow through. That's a fair blow. Not a clean fight at all. A total show. After three rounds of fouls, Jesus lost by decision. Winner, Rodriguez. Jesus is pretty raw in the sport. With some help, you could get better, but tonight, Aziel gets the W. Despite the loss, I put Jesus in the house as an alternate, where his first real test was against Slap Jesus. Ah! Michael Smith, it's the battle of the Jesuses, and prepare to get baptized. Okay, guys, center up. Jesus had a lot of penalties for flinching. I think that Jesus Gaspar may have actually had the better slaps and would have won had it not been for the foul. Winner by split decision, blue corner. Jesus narrowly lost that fight, but the kid showed that he has great technique, and above all, he's got a great chin. 
Dog, tough son of a bitch, Michael Smith, man. I hit that fool, I busted him up pretty bad. I got his blood on my hands. Homie did not go down. He knew he had one more shot and that he had to make it count, and he took the opportunity against none other than the number three ranked welterweight, Jewel Scott. Okay, now it's showtime. And that's when he really came out of his shell. Red, right on three. Watching this kid clench his up, look at his jaw muscle. I know. Looks like he just ate a lemon. Illegal! That was on that was two. Good. You said three. Oh! Foul. One point red stepping. Look at his eye. He got me in my eye. Shut your bitch ass up. Round three, slap three. Okay? He hits like a twig, dog. Big bro, hit that button, you hear me? One, <laughs> two, three. Yo, come on, stay up, stay up! Yeah. What's up, Cuffin' Rock, baby? What are you doing? Yeah, say, I did that for you! I joke, but these got balls. To see Jesus come back tonight for this fight after his performance last fight was just absolutely, you know, amazing. He stood his ground, taking him on the chin, not flinching. He came out and dominated a match that most people counted him out of. OK, winner by disqualification because of three striker fouls, Jesus Gaspar. You got talking, bitch! Cut it, you talking, bitch! you can shut the bitch! I'm going to beat your house. You bitch! Because you, you can't fight. Knocked out. No, 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 no. Freeze! Freeze! Bro, I will you up, bro. What, bitch? Y'all can't what even fight. Y'all no, can't even fight, bro. You ain't going to do <laughs> oh, that <laughs> talking bitch! You got KO. I'm gonna beat y'all ass, bro. Them dog, they can't even fight. That's why they doing. Yeah, bitch. Woo! My biggest win in my life. The big time. The big show. Yeah, bro. I'm a feeling amazing. They were talking so much at the house. I'm a humble person. I wait until showtime. And what, what happened today was showtime. Jesus has that fire inside of him, and you cannot count this kid out. He's going in against Chris Thomas. He's got to step his game up for this one. Otherwise, this could be a huge upset. Proud of you, bro. <sighs> the middleweight division was the most stacked division we had coming into this competition. They had eight ranked fighters. One of the standouts that caught our eye from the get-go was John Davis, who we picked to go straight into the house after watching his exhibition fight back in March. Fair blow. Ooh. Oh, accurate. I think when working with you guys, uh, he'll develop his slapping technique a little bit, but I think John goes straight into the house for the yeah, hard. I completely agree. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. I was in the Marine Corps for a little bit. Unfortunately, I got hurt real early and got an honorable medical discharge, but... Where have I? Uh, my shoulder popped out of the place, and then even though I tried to get surgery down there, but they said no matter what, because of it, the injury that it was, even if I would have stayed in and got the surgery down there, there was no chance of me going back. After they told me I couldn't go back to the military, that all needed to happen early in life to teach me, <laughs> to teach me a lot of lessons now to be able to get through times like this that are, you know, very hard for people in general, especially being away from family. Careful, you're throwing bricks. My motivation is absolutely, you know, my wife and kids, just pushing me to be better in every aspect. Especially like right now, I just miss them all so much. And it's only been a couple of days, but the, you know, the entire time my wife had been together, the, the longest we were apart was the last time I was down here in March. Mom, I see you. Being emotional like this now as an adult, especially as a guy in this world, isn't always easy. But it's also, once again, an example to show my kids that you know, it's normal. 
giving them an example of chasing dreams and doing stuff that people would normally say, oh, why would you do that? That's dangerous. Well, life's risky and dangerous, so I really wanted to come out here and show them that whether you win, lose, or draw, you gotta try. It's one of those things where I'm willing to take the risks and get rowdy to do something like this now while I can, because I know one day everything could get ripped away from me in a second. It's nothing I can do about it. John Davis versus John Kennedy. Since his opponent in the exhibition was a bit weak, we felt John needed to be tested, so we ranked him number two. Let's go! His first matchup was against the number four middleweight, John Kennedy, and holy did he deliver. John Kennedy hit both his first two slaps right on target. So, I mean, John Davis knew he was down a point. You ain't ready. That last round came, and he had a clean hit. Knocked him down. We have a referee stoppage. Winner by TKO, John. This was a hard-fought battle, but in the end, Davis's force and velocity edge proved to be too much for Kennedy to handle. I think it was a good stoppage. He didn't look like he would have been able to continue. I feel amazing right now, you know? Couldn't, couldn't be happier. Uh, win for the team, win for myself, you know, on, on to the next one. I'm not just here to play around. I'm not here playing games. I want that belt. No! Let's go! With that win, John jumped to number one in the middleweight division and then went on to prove that that was the right move when he took on the dark horse, Jesse Nutty. Damn! Damn. John Davis ended up rocking Jesse really, really bad. You know, I feel like he might have been a standing KO. Mr. Davis pulled it out. He had three nice hits, three clean hits, and you know he didn't make a mistake. He he did great. Winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Davis. I feel great, super excited to get another win. I uh, keep my number one spot, at least hopefully at the moment, and hopefully, you know, on, on the way to the top from here. Great match, man, great. Three fights, three huge wins. John Davis proved he is the man to beat in the middleweight division. The middleweight that made the most noise in the competition was definitely Aziel Rodriguez. Aziel launched his power slap run with a pretty sloppy debut against Jesus Gaspar. That fight was full of fouls. Foul. Foul, stepping. Rodriguez. That fight was so unimpressive that I put him in the house, but I put him in as an alternate. Oh, I get the Azael fought the most of any of our competitors. All right, that's enough. Unfortunately, most of his battles. Right. Wait on me. Bitch, oh, beat your ass. What the hey, did you do hey, that? We're in the house. Get him, bro. Get him, bro. Here we go. Choke him out, bro. Then let me sit right here, bitch. Then sit. There's a chair. Sit your ass down. What's up, then, bitch? Hey, I'm right here, dude. You can just. He quickly became the resident troublemaker. It seemed like this guy wanted to fight everybody. Uh, let me start with this. You guys have a huge opportunity in front of you right now. If you want to get belligerently drunk and act like <laughs> do it when you get home. You guys want to <laughs> and have a few drinks, hang out, have a good time, take the edge off, take some of the stress out of it, have a couple <laughs> drinks. And if you're a bad drinker, and I think half this <laughs> place here is a bunch of bad drinkers, have none. You don't have to like each other. You're going to compete against each other, but let's just show everybody some respect. The beautiful thing about this thing is you get to slap the out of all the people you don't like. All right? We want you guys to feel safe. We want you to feel comfortable. 
And more importantly, we want you to succeed, okay? We want this thing to be big for everybody. We want all of you to win. We want you all to win. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Is this no, your sport? Not, it, Hell, a personal you haven't invitation. won in the last years. You a whole boy in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about, what, boy? What, you hear what I'm talking about, boy? That's what I do to boys in this bitch. What, boy? What, boy? You want some more, little boy? Come on. You want some more? You want some more, little boy? You want some more, little boy? Why you talking to some more, little boy? Come on. You want some more? And that! So despite all my warnings, Aziel kept acting like a and the fighters eventually had to take it into their own hands. Hey, which bet's this? The one left bottom. This is definitely a team effort. <laughs> <laughs> Find out. Find out. See you there. What's over there, my bed? This is the dopest walk of shame ever. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, you know, I didn't put Why the are you getting in my face, dog? Because it's my guy's bed. I don't feel hey. that's your guy's bed, dog. I was I sleeping you on it. Because you're disrespectful, little bro. I know you want to. I want to what, dog? Square off on something, bro. Go for it. Stupid, dog. I'll give him this bed. I'll give him this bed. There you go. Yeah, it's good. That's cool. My goal has just been to show everyone who the f this Mexican Asael Rodriguez is. I am from San Diego, California, specifically the most southern part of San Diego, which is San Isidro, which borders Tijuana, Mexico. Used to come here and run, do some shadow boxing, play some basketball. We're out here with the fam. My sister, my mom. I've always wanted to be a professional in a combat sport. Power Slab is the sport that I'm going to be a champion in. One of the top dogs in the Mexican combat sport is Canelo, and that's one of the guys that I look up to the most. And the other Mexican warriors in the sport, I have that Mexican blood. They can do it, I can do it. There you go. One more. Aziel did get on stage. He showed that he was a lot more than just talk. He went toe to toe with Emmanuel Munich. One, two, oh. Oh. legal, and earning himself a unanimous decision. The blue corner, oh. and the win shot him up to number two in the middleweight division, oh. and earned him a shot at his rival, Carice Archer. Shot, huh? yeah. And he ended up delivering a third round knockout. Sit down, oh, get it! Oh. Sit the oh. down! Two, three, three. sit the oh. four! Oh. Winner by TKO, Azael Rodriguez. Oh. Next up is a one versus two battle with John Davis. Everyone is excited for this one. The chin that I have, the power that I have, I'm going to sit John down. <laughs>
and that lifestyle, it's, it's different than, you know, growing up in the city. So this is one of our farms. We have two machine shops. My grandparents live in that house, and then my uncle lives over here in this house. Today, I gotta finish putting that motor into that guy. And just everything, like I'm a mechanic, everything I do is heavy, and it's true. Like, people can say whatever they want. Midwest guys that grew up on a farm, we are just different. Vern lost his number one light heavyweight ranking when former heavyweight A.J. Hintz dropped in weight and took out number three light heavyweight Russell Rivera. But then in his only fight in the competition, Vern proved that he deserved that number one spot after he delivered an absolutely badass knockout against newcomer Amir. Oh, oh my God. God. Greatest slap of all time. The dream that came to happen. So with AJ now dropping down to number two in the light heavyweight division, you could not ask for a better fight. I'm so excited about this one. You have number one versus number two. Both guys viciously knock people out. AJ Static Hint stood out to us as the smallest heavyweight, but had an absolute concrete chin in the Mars exhibition. He doesn't look like he really even knows how to slap yet, but he can certainly take a slap. 100%. His inexperience obviously showed, but his potential. Your winner, AJ Hintz. Is what convinced us to give him a spot in the slap off elimination day, where he took out one of the biggest names in slap fighting, Frank the Tank Holland, and scored a huge upset with a third round knockout. AJ Static Hence. But shot to your system. AJ is eccentric. The guy is a metalhead, and he looks like a character out of an action movie, but he's also a family man. He's got a strong foundation and a solid chin. Yo, Static and the children. I don't know if you can see him. Say hi, boys. Hi, boys. No. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite pastimes, aside from hanging out with my family, is I actually I go to a lot of live music shows. We were pretty sure that's where my neck comes from, from a whole lot of headbanging. What's good? <laughs> Shout out, AJ. What's your Instagram? Static underscore slap. There you go. And what yes, do you do, AJ? I slap fight. He slap yes, fights. I live in Adams, Wisconsin. It's, uh, it's, it's a cute, quiet little town. Everybody kind of keeps to themselves. Not a whole lot to do. There's like a McDonald's, maybe. Could go out, go for a skate. Smooth roads. I got an electric longboard. I ride that around. I got like full uh, pads, helmet, and all that. Look how beautiful she is. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. My fiance, Jessica. Cutest power slap couple. Hands down. She's super cool. She's like, she's honestly the best person I've ever met. So sweet and just loving. She's my homeboy's cousin. I don't think either one of us really took it very seriously at the beginning. Didn't see much coming out of it. She had our little boys, Deucalion. He's the oldest curly-headed one. Thank you. And then the second oldest, we have Aiden. And then the little baby, baby, he's five months old. That's Zaire. Mm -hmm. He actually just turned five months the day before I came out here. It's really cool to see how things work out in life. My family, like, literally means the world to me. Like, everything I do is for them. What's good, Slab Nation? Aesthetic. I just got the rest of my merch today. That's the whole reason I'm doing this, trying to set him up for the future. Say hi, America. Hi, America. AJ moved down to light heavyweight for a catchweight matchup with Hawaiian mauler, Russell Rivero. Yo, if I take this big out, you got to tell Zuckerberg, let me have my Facebook back. What the hell did you do to get your Facebook taken away? Everything. <laughs> He moved down to weight and just knocked him out. That's one of the most vicious knockouts I've seen since we've been doing this. Blue corner. Yeah. 
AJ is coming into the finale versus Vern. AJ, AJ number you're number one. one! And I think AJ has a chip on his shoulder, as he should. And this is, without a doubt, one of the best fights you're ever going to see as far as slap fighting goes. I'm getting that belt. I'm not giving it up. I see myself being a multi-division champ real soon here. For the heavyweights, we really noticed Dwayne Crespo after a brutal first round knockout against Matthew Strickland in the March exhibition. It's over. It's over. Do not get up. It's over. Hold on, man. I can hit a lot harder. That looked clean, too. I didn't see yeah, any. No yeah, no foot. Yeah, that looked clean. clean. I knew it was going to be a knockout from the start. I could have hit a lot harder, but it didn't even matter. He did not get back up, so it's great feeling. That display of raw power earned him an automatic spot in the house and a fifth seed in our initial rankings. Dwayne was in the military at one point. Owns a gym out in New Jersey. In a house of loud personalities, Dwayne is actually very quiet. He is a true introvert and lets his hands do the talking. A lot of people don't know I'm on the spectrum. It's weird being in the house with a bunch of strangers. Chaos with craziness and people clashing. Being away from your family, like, it's, it's kind of weird. I've only got a couple days left with the missus. I have played some Uno. Oh, there she is. Looking all cute. My girlfriend's name uh, is uh, Tori. We've been together for about, like, four months now. She's super supportive in what I do. She has a beautiful little girl, Ellie, and I love that little girl. When I start dating, there's a point where you realize that little girl, you're in her life too. And it's either like, I have to be all in in this relationship or out of it. And uh, it's definitely an all in kind of thing. Yeah, what do we got? Same thing? Same thing, can't be used to it. I'm definitely not the office type. I've done office jobs before. I don't like sitting in a computer all day. Most fighters, they have other jobs. This is what I do, this is how I pay bills. I train out of Vicious Elite Kickboxing under Coach Haas. He's actually the ISKA Team USA head coach. I worked hard my whole life to be at the level I'm at, and I want to prove to myself that I am one of the best in the sport and to make a mark. <laughs> yeah, they're not taking that. I could really hold on to the paddle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> In his first and only matchup in the house, Dwayne faced Ryan Phillips, who ended up using his left hand because he injured his dominant right arm. Dwayne put on a cleaner fight, better hits, the better power. We have a winner by unanimous decision. Woo! Red corner. I'm so happy, like, that win was amazing, you know? It just puts me up the ladder, like, I'm in a really good division here. I'm really happy to be here. It's, it's fantastic. That was incredible, dude. <laughs> Respect. Good to go. Yeah, you too, man. You too. Dwayne. What? Versus Bell. Dwayne's opponent in the finale matchup will be none other than Wolverine's assistant coach, the Bell. It's a rough sport, but it's an easy sport at the same time. It just takes practice, repetition, and training, just like anything else. He's a big guy. Solid. He's a good asset to have to help get these guys ready. I joined this sport originally because I just saw it on YouTube one day, and I was like, I'm dumb enough to do that. And I talked to my wife about it. She said, like, just go for it. If you want to do something, why not do it? There's nothing else holding you back. Despite this kid only being 21 years old, he showed tremendous potential in the slap fighting world. Oh, Frank the Tank goes down. The bell knocks Frank down to the mat. Three. Oh! And it earned him the number three spot in heavyweight rankings right behind the coaches. We both had nice classes. That's all I got to say, man. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, too. One of these guys will be the first in line to challenge Wolverine or Darius the Destroyer for the heavyweight belt. 
This fight should be awesome. Oh, oh, In the end, the first power slap competition couldn't have gone any better. The best always rise to the top, and the final rankings for each weight division came together perfectly as we head into the live finale. This has been an amazing start as we launch this new sport. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on. From the Power Slap Arena in Las Vegas, welcome to Power Slap. Slap fighting is about to go to a whole nother level.